basics of stock market for beginners myself ganesan darnidan a certified research analyst and branch manager of alix blue financial service pondicherry so this is a video series and right now we are on the 25th day of this video series already we have completed the price action trading cpr indicator camarilla trade setup option basics and option strategies right now we are in the graduation part and these are the topics which we have already covered in the price action trading cpr indicator camarilla option basics and option strategies okay so uh, let me just take you to today's slide finally the slide has crossed 500 um, it has crossed 500 okay so now uh, there are four types of reversal zones okay so we we know this quite early right so uh, for all these four zones we are going to look at how we are going to fix the target how we are going to fix the target and in what means we can trial the profit okay in what means we can we can trial the profit okay so and for the two continuation zone also we'll be just uh, um, planning how to book the target okay so uh, let me just start one by one okay so whatever the zone which comes into our uh, our i we can just uh, try to mark it okay so um, let me just take any one script mm. which one okay kotak bank from the last field start okay so which looks good in kotak bank so right now we are in 5 minutes time frame okay so if it is in the early case okay so this if this is the day so what we do first we just divide this previous day into two parts sorry three parts okay now we look for sell opportunity only in the top region and we look for buy opportunity only in the bottom region okay so now i have just divided the previous day into three parts which is the top 33 percentage will be the sell area where i look only for sell opportunity where i look only for the sell opportunity okay so in the case in the case of the bottom okay so uh, there is a green area which is the bottom 33 percentage of the previous day so here we just take the here we just take the only the demand zones the green zone the green area where we just take only the demand zones okay so now uh, i think so we have one supply and one demand in the one one, one demand in the bottom and another demand in the bottom so we do have like a two <coughs> sorry we just have like a two demand in the bottom and one supply in the top okay so let me just ask you uh, what formation is this what formation is this whether it is a reversal buy zone formation or a continuation buy zone formation what it is whether it is a reversal buy zone formation okay let me just ask this also whether this is a reversal buy zone formation it's like a actually it is not pivot so it is like a, a reversal buy zone formation okay it is a reversal buy zone formation okay what about in the what about the thing which is in the top it is a reversal sell zone formation so whichever it is in the top the sell zone which we look at in the top it's a reversal sell zone formation okay so now we just got both the answer like right now we have the reversal buy zone as well as the reversal sell zone and in the reversal buy zone we do have two okay so which one do we take like whether we'll take the top one or the bottom one whether we'll take the top one or the bottom one so most of the cases we'll be taking the bottom one whenever it is like because like we say the concept right so earlier we just we discussed about the we discussed about the level on top of the level so i just feel this particular level over here is uh, they are very nearby but still we can just go up with the bottom one okay instead of taking it on the top side okay so uh, now what we do we just try to plot this one so this will be our demand zone and this will be our supply zone okay
okay now it's fine i think so yeah uh, i'll just tell about the good news what i'm going to say for uh, the people who want the videos to be on uh, hindi okay so at the end of the session i'll just tell you don't worry okay no like uh, we just don't use the curve analysis method which is used in ota right now okay so we we just try to plot the previous day high and low okay so we try to understand that previous day high and low it's defined by the institution so uh, the top area will be only for the cell zones okay we just uh, we just isolate the previous day into three parts so it is not the con concepts which we discuss uh, like uh, the ota guys uh, discuss okay so it is totally different and uh, we don't follow the the exact concept of what they say okay so uh, now let me just understand uh, this particular zone is the one we take okay so if this is the if this is the demand zone okay so once the price when we just take the entry once the price comes back to the level okay so once it comes back to this level then we just take the then we just take the entry from this point okay we just take the entry from this point okay so what about the so right now we have the entry and the stop loss okay so based on the uh, zone formation we know that this the top line will be our entry and the bottom line will be our stop loss okay so I just take this as our entry and this as our stop loss okay okay so this is the entry this is stop loss but what about the target okay so in general we just uh, used to take like in the early cases we just discussed right so we just used to take like one is to two or one is to three okay so i just take this as the target i just take this as a target okay so uh, there is nothing like see uh, most of the time this is not going to work out okay most of the time most of the time it does not like uh, the one is to two or one is to three is not going to make some good sense okay so uh, instead of that we have an another option we have another option once we are taking the entry in the in the sales in, in our demand zone once we are taking the entry in the demand zone okay we just keep maintain the stop loss at the level of supply we just stop, sorry we just maintain the target at the level of supply okay we just maintain the target at the level of supply okay now this is the demand okay now this is the demand so where you find the the immediate supply let me just get the answer from you guys let me just get the answer from you so if this is the entry okay this is the entry in the demand zone so our stop loss will be in the bottom and the entry will be in the top of the zone and what about the target the target will be the immediate supply zone the immediate supply zone so where we find the immediate supply zone let me just get some answer from you guys the immediate supply zone where we find it is it's, it's over here okay so it is on the cell area also okay so this is where this is a very nearby okay so now now see this looks very far right so this looks very far so uh, most of the time the hitting the target would be quite quite hard right so because this much of move it's literally uh, very difficult on an intraday basis okay this is almost like 1.83 percentage of move okay so i just don't think this this will be a good idea but see what happens what happens so tomorrow it just forms a candle setup tomorrow it just forms a candle setup like this another candle like this another candle like this like this okay but uh, i just see that uh, this area it just forms an another supply this area it just forms as an another supply okay so this happens on tomorrow okay so just for example i'm just saying so this looks like the target okay and this is the supply area also this is the supply area so this supply area we just 
make it as the target okay so now what happens now what happens but, but the thing is like uh, definitely it will be more than 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 5 okay so 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 5 okay so uh, where is where the white color starts yeah like uh, almost it is good okay fine so this is this is the one we maintain as a target okay so based on this chart so based on this chart which will be our target okay so uh, we just leave about our assumptions okay we just leave about the assumption so this will be the exact target okay so if you want to take the trade right now we just take the entry over here the stop loss over here and the immediate sell zone will be the target the immediate sell zone will be the will be the target okay so the price comes back to this level so once we take the entry over here so we just mark this as the target okay so actually uh, mr rajesh we are just trying to uh, predict the future zone only so it is not the past zone if the past zone is what we are just taking as a target it is the the previous zones which already formed right we just take that as a target okay not the not the entry method okay I go straight up with yesterday data. Can you compare within with two days ago data with yesterday data? Like I can't understand. Okay, so this is the you now see like whenever it is booking like a, this particular zone, right? So which is a sell zone, it is already tested. But see, we are just taking that as a we just just taking it as a target. Nothing more than that okay so it is tested or uh, it can be violated but see like if it is like violated we are not going to consider it once it is tested we just consider that as a supply zone don't worry okay so uh, I, th I think i think so like uh, did you guys understand it clearly or uh, it is quite difficult for you to understand can you guys understand it Yeah, just we can just trial the stop loss. I'll I'll be just uh, teaching the concern like uh, the uh, how we trial the stop loss in the upcoming uh, in the next few slides. Let me just get some unders like yes or no, so that I can just explain to you. It's quite difficult. See, like a. Uh, actually in the early cases in the early cases we used to like uh, we used to take the entry methods we used to take the entry methods uh, like the the zone the, the zone top will be the entry and the bottom will be the stop loss so this is how we define and target we'll just take it as one is to two okay for god's sake for god's sake we just take the end target as one is to two that's it okay so that is what we just do that is what we just do okay so this is the entry this is a stop loss and this is the target okay so this is how we just do it on the early stages okay now what i'm saying is instead of doing in this format okay so what we know is once the market price enters into the demand zone so obviously where it has to move for the next day so where on the current day also so where it has to move to the next from the demand it moves to supply and supply it moves to demand okay so this is how the price moves right okay and we and people call it as Elliott wave theory or it can be anything okay so from demand it has to move to supply and uh, for supply it has to move to demand okay so this is the this is a vice versa concept okay if you're if you're just trying to take entry on a supply zone okay we're just trying to take an entry on a supply zone okay once the price comes back to the same level of the supply zone you just take the entry over there then where will be your then where will be a target then where will be your target your target will be your target will be on the bottom okay which is the demand zone okay your case like uh, in us oil uh, actually i'm not sure like which time frame uh, you just say which time frame it is whether it is a 5 minutes time frame or a 15 minutes time frame so that i can just show the people Why to consider the buy sell zone at 25th, 26th also available? 
this is 25 yeah see like um in 26 we don't have the demand zone we don't find any demand zone in 25 in sorry in 26 i don't think so there is no demand zone in 25 so because of that i'm just taking the previous day data see like uh okay see right now whatever we are discussing so we are just discussing the concept okay so uh hence it is the 25th tw sorry it is 26 okay so it is a 26th video okay so i just want you guys to uh so those are joined on the recent days okay so or uh, you're just you're just watching a video for the first time okay then it will be quite difficult for you to understand the concept so please do watch the video from the beginning so it is almost like from day one okay so we have another like almost like 26 hours of uh, content are there okay so please do watch all those videos and then once you come back to this uh, video it will be quite easy for you but so uh, I, I can just say you like uh, it will be quite easy okay so don't worry okay so uh, why i'm just saying to go move on to the previous day so because the concepts what we discuss right now are uh, we have just already completed the price action cpr indicator camera law and option basics option strategies so right now we are on the graduation part so where, where we are just looking at the odds alone okay we are just looking at the odds alone there are lots of supplies and lot of demand zones so, so why decide which one is significant actually see, like we just like a two sessions before we just discussed about the criteria okay so what are the things you need to consider see the uh, how the way it has reacted okay the early cases how the zone has reacted okay so whether it has broken the supply or uh, it's a, it has just broken the demand okay so the move from the zone is also an important concern whether it is retraced or not okay so those are the significant things which we need to consider before taking the trade okay so we're now in five minutes time frame us oil okay that's good literally fine the supply this is a supply so it's actually this is us oil live chart i think so okay so um now see what happens uh, in five minutes time frame you find there is a cell zone there's a cell zone over here uh, in what's the time so around uh, five okay so the price retrace back to the same level and just push down retrace back to the same level and then push down and then forms an another supply okay it just forms another supply okay and then once again price retrace back to the same level and from there it starts to fall and from there it starts to fall okay and i just consider this also a supply zone i just consider this also a supply zone because this is more significant okay this is more significant but it has not touched okay it has just not touched this level okay so this is how uh i just um i can just show this as a trialing stop loss also okay so uh, there were lots of questions like uh, why uh, how we do maintain the like uh, how we how we maintain the trialing stop loss okay so from zone after zone we just take to shift it from zone after zones we just try to shift it okay so the indian chart crude oil okay like uh, the the us chart follows the like uh, the Indian charts, it totally follows the. Actually, it has to follow the UK's UK's oil. Okay, but fortunately, um, we most of the time even I used to take trades based out of US oil only. Okay, so uh, okay, that's fine. Nice move. And this is a power zone. I think you can hear my baby is crying. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yeah, see, like US oil, you need to take trades based only out of uh, week to week methods. Okay, uh, we don't trade uh, bot. We don't trade week to week method in India. Uh, why? Because uh, I don't know why my baby is crying this much. Sorry, sorry, guys. Okay, see, um, okay, 
so sorry actually uh, i was quite disturbed with my baby crying <laughs> okay see like um, so this is a valid supply okay so price came back to came back to the level okay and then just uh, bounce one second back and then formed a it just entered into the supply zone okay from there it just starts to from there it starts to fall okay so it, it, it is something very good fall i just consider this as a very good fall okay so this is very good fall okay so and what about the target so how we fix the target how we fix the target okay so once it takes the entry from this supply okay so obviously we just look at the very nearby demand okay so very nearby demand it looks like this sorry mm. from here to here we just get the we just get the demand zone so from here to here it can just move on but see from here to here definitely it, it won't give the satisfaction that uh, it will have a very good risk reward okay so it don't get it don't have a very good risk reward because the zone from here to here it is almost like uh, 12 points and 22 okay i don't think so it will give a two is one is to two okay and what about the um the very immediate um, the lower one okay the lower one demand zone is over here but i don't suggest this particular zone why because why because the risk is the risk reward does not satisfy the risk reward does not get satisfied over here okay and because like once it comes over here and it has formed another zone over here so the risk reward will definitely be uh, be a question over here but but i just want to add one more thing we don't take trades based out of uh, indian um, charts we don't take trade setups with the help of indian charts okay so please do consider taking trades only with the help of us oil okay so this is the best suggested method this is the best suggested method okay so now let me just uh, look at the uh, look at the very important part which is the trialing stop loss okay how we trial the stop loss how we trial the stop loss? because i will just skip, skip to the other question I just went off from this particular page okay so now the first entry is over here I just taken this as an entry okay so there might be lots of questions which is going on over here the, uh, please just give me some time okay it is very hard for me to uh, simultaneously teach and answer the questions because even see like still I'm a human so uh, I even I get distracted okay so uh, please do give me some time because it is it is very hard for me to handle both the things at the same time okay so sorry for that okay so if, if my words would have hurt you so i'm just sorry for that okay so um, as a case we just take this as the entry and this as the stop loss okay so this is the entry and the stop loss okay now what happens now what happens like uh the very the very uh, we just take the target as the recent demand we just take the target at the demand okay so i just mark it over here i just mark it over here so this is the demand area okay so this is a this is a supply area and this is a supply area and this is also a supply area first we just taken the trade over here we just take the trade over here and uh, what happens immediately the price came down it just had a kiss and this came down okay and then formed an another supply okay and then the price went back to the same supply area and then came back and now it has formed another supply over here okay so all together all together we do have three consecutive supplies okay we do have all consecutive consecutive supplies are there okay and uh, once we take the entry at the supply where will be our target our target will be the recent demand our target will be the recent demand okay now let me just draw this so this is my demand okay and i just make it as a target okay so this is my target 
okay so this is my entry this is my stop loss and this is my target okay so these are the things which you need to take it on a consideration okay now we we get the three datas okay now what all we what we need to do is we need to understand about the trialing stop loss okay so once you get a supply over here so once you get a supply over here okay so then immediately what happens you just try to uh, take the entry so once you got the entry then market came down and it has formed an another supply now it has formed the another supply okay in this case in this case please revise the stop loss to the bottom zone please revise the stop loss to the bottom zone okay so now what i do i just uh, remove this entry because we have already made the entry now i just move the stop loss line to this level and i maintain this as a stop loss now i just maintain this as a stop loss okay so once market forms an another supply so where it is over here i just move my stop loss to this level and now this will become a risk free trade and this will become a risk free trade okay so uh, okay there is a, a very good question from um, vedita okay see like uh, indian crude oil follows us oil but uh, today mcx morning off and uh, that's the reason for slight difference yeah obviously see that the, uh, whenever this happens there'll be slight difference and one more thing why i follow us oil instead of uh, instead of uh, indian chart see in indian chart 90% of the time the stop loss hunting will happen okay 90% of the time the stop loss hunting will happen see like in us in us chart there might be a reversal sell zone might be there so the the particular stock might be reacting to the us chart okay in us the sell zone will be reacted but what happens in india it just moves above the zone okay clears all the stop loss because in, in indian chart it will hope uh, it will just try to breach most of the stop losses because we just maintain the stop loss at the level of high right so what happens it just goes above the high slightly clears all the stop loss clears all the stop loss and then from there it will start to bounce back and then from there it starts to bounce back okay and do during that time most of the stop loss would have been cleared okay so because of that only i don't uh, prefer taking the um, like indian charts as a zone marking technique okay so that is only for uh, this uh, mcx okay so uh, actually another important thing i'm totally away from mcx so it's been a very long 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 time i've been traded in uh, mcx if i'm just start because uh, because of the time duration it is very lengthy process okay and if you take the entry in the morning then it will not even give the target at the night also okay so because of that i'm quite away from that so only i'm just trading with option selling that's it okay and there was a question in the middle like uh, whether the, it is not option lesson it is basics of market okay so uh, see option session will be starting by tomorrow okay so uh, don't worry mr karthik definitely will be having the option session actually i just promised that today we will have the option session but unfortunately what happened uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday we have just skipped it right so uh, that's the one one reason why i'm just taking the session right now okay that's the uh, that two on the price action trading okay so uh, so this is how we just do the trialing stop loss uh, this is how we just do the trialing stop loss okay so um, now 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 let me just understand a few things uh so there was one question from sanju and uh other one was govin so they were just discussing things try to see from big move in the charts if you see the demand and supply zones then yeah your answer was the big moves see like uh, most of the time the big moves are captured by supply and demand okay why it is captured by supply and demand okay so uh, why it is uh Uh, capture by supply dependency like uh, most of the time uh, i'll just come to the traditional uh, way of understanding the market okay so we we used to say like a market used to react on the market used to react like a head and shoulder methods and a double bottom and double top okay there might be lot of things which is going on okay so we just we just discuss lots of things and channel high channel low 
we discuss more more and more 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 we we, we just discuss n number of concepts on it okay but one one thing which was very common the big moves are 90% captured by the supply and demand okay the big moves are definitely captured by the supply and demand okay see like okay let me just give you another example which is this is a monthly chart okay so uh, i'm not sure whether this is this is us oil right yeah so i just take this week to week method okay i'm just looking into the monthly chart okay so uh, don't worry i'm not showing something very different it might be quite looking very um, different i'm just uh, using the monthly chart and it is having a like a very big stop loss i'm just for an understanding only i'm just saying you just okay so this is not a trade setup okay i just don't want to say i taken the trade over here and i just booked it over here this is for your understanding whether it is possible for supply and demand for supply and demand to showcase a very long run okay so definitely promisingly this result will be um, you can definitely believe in this results okay so these are these are well noted concerns okay if you are if you are trying to take trades out of supply and demand on a investment basis you are definitely going to make a very good sum of money okay so now let me just understand another thing like uh, so i used to discuss the state bank of india most of the time okay so uh, i just in the presentation also we have that okay so we call it as uh, like a uh, first we have a buy zone over here this is another buy zone this is the price moves from here to here and from here to here okay but uh, traditional in a traditional way in a traditional way we used to say very clearly these are the areas where the demand exceeds supply and people say this is a double bottom or a triple bottom or a four bottom okay i don't know what is the way to tell four bottom triple bottom i know okay see like um, so this kind of huge moves can be captured by using supply and demand okay i don't feel any other strategy can capture this okay but one added thing i just want to one uh, thing which is to be added on this point this particular system has the entry stop loss and a target okay this this method has the entry stop loss and the target okay so uh, i think uh, now you guys would have been clear that uh, see supply and demand is what you can use it for any format of trading setup it can be a income like a scalping trade you can use 1 minute and 3 minutes chart you can do intraday with the 5 minutes chart or 15 minutes chart and uh, you can do some swing trading with the help of day chart and uh, weekly and monthly you can just try to invest on the market okay so altogether this particular strategy you can use it for any concerns see how we create the signals are 50 50 there is no strategies which is above 50 okay so there is only two options in the market which is buy and sell that's it okay if that's the case then uh, it is not possible for you to get more than uh, 50 percentage of accuracy all you need to do only is only one thing you need to fix your target okay that too with a defined risk reward just maintain your risk reward the strategies are only 5% so whatever i just thought till now okay it is only 5% it is only 5% of what uh, you are going to earn the only thing what what it gives you profitability is nothing more than is nothing more than your risk reward okay just follow your risk reward the strategies are only 5% okay apart from that the strategies are not going to work work in a very very big way okay always try to maintain your stop loss okay that's a, that's a very important thing what i want to give you as a suggestion okay so uh, next thing uh, when not to trade the supply and demand when not to trade the supply and demand okay so uh, whenever there is no supply zone in a weekly chart you no need to you can't find any sort of uh, trade plans okay you, you don't try to trade the market whenever there is no supply zone see like for state bank of india there is no supply zone so you should not take trades on the sbn okay and uh, pnb bank is yes, it has a supply zone over here okay it has a supply zone over here okay so if this is the case then you can trade with the then you can trade with the supply and demand okay so if it is trying to see when the, whichever the script which is in lifetime high whichever the script which is in lifetime high please don't trade that stock with the supply and demand because they are market like they are driven by the institutions 
okay they are driven by the institutions okay so most of the time this happens okay whenever it just comes to the uh, just hold on so uh, most of the time what happens whenever the market uh, it's a lifetime high if you are trying to take any trades right so it will be totally pushed it will be totally pushed with the help of uh, like uh, the mark the the key players okay either it can be a promoter or an institution they play the major role and uh, they just try to most of the time whenever, whenever it is a lifetime high it used to be gapped up gap down gap up gap down gap up gap down so it it won't looks very nice okay see like uh, we can just take any script which is uh, okay let me just look at reliance when it was in top how the format was okay so reliance india till now we don't have a weekly supply okay actually actually sorry sorry we do have a weekly supply but my indicator had that glitch because it does not concede here is a zone right so it does there is a glitch so this is a yeah ib red color ib candle three e candles and one ib candle first low second low okay so this is a sell zone this is a sell zone but it is a weekly supply zone okay so whether whether it is possible to take this entry over here no it is not possible because it is 7.5 points okay so 7.5 percentage okay so this much of huge prof uh, huge stop loss you can't give it right definitely you can't keep it so it is best suggested that you can book it over there okay so this is where the platform you can book the profit that's it okay whenever the particular if you're you holding a stock if you're holding a stock and that stock has formed a weekly supply and then it is a time to quit that particular script okay so it is the right time to quit the particular script because most of the time the weekly supplies will will be a very major role it, it plays a very vital role okay so okay now let me just consider what happens uh let, let me just take the day chart okay whenever it is in the day in the lifetime high right see um this was the common high which was the early high okay so when it starts to uh, see above this level above this level whenever it has just made the breakout okay it never respects any criteria okay it just gaps up and next day let me just remove the zone e candles next day it opened here next day it opened here opened here opened here open opened over here so this was a consolidation and see after that it just keeps on moving see if you're trying to mark zones the next day it will be like a outside gap there will be an outside gap okay see this is this is also an outside gap okay so whenever there is an outside gap which is happening definitely we'll be not in position to predict the market okay we'll be not in the position to predict the market okay so uh, now let me just uh, see how it is just predicted okay so it just came into the zone and from there starts to fall okay so whenever there whenever it is in the lifetime high okay so whenever it is a uh, it is in lifetime high okay so we do whenever it is in lifetime high we don't take trades based out of supply and demand okay so we don't take trades based out of supply and demand okay so uh, till now you guys understood it right so if, if it is s please type it till now you guys understood it very clearly or not okay um vedita like uh, see uh, actually you just requested for something else i think so in the early day early comment sanju okay sanju uh, sanju see like uh, we are not discussing something like uh, uh, the trade plans or something over here 
okay we are just trying to understand the concept so till now we are in the learning stage alone okay so uh, it is not mandatory to uh, uh, do some sort of live trade setups or something so once it comes to option trading i can just explain you those things in a very clear way okay so taking trades on a live market it is not going to be helpful on any cases okay so try to do some sort of post market analysis so once you come from if you are a working uh, working graduate like if you are working okay see like you can just try to mark the zones which is which has already happened on the previous day okay don't do any sort of live market analysis because what happens during the live market your mind will be working just to take the entries okay so you want to trade 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 okay so that will be the only thing which will be going into the mind okay so once option comes into the picture we can just try to do the live market analysis and we'll just plan for the trade we'll just give you the trade plans so then you can just take the trades so until the like uh, in the next week time you can just expect uh, to do the live market like live analysis okay so i can even give you like you can, uh, many people say they will provide calls right i don't provide you call i just provide you a trade setup you can just try to use that uh, use the particular uh, trade setups and make use of it okay so it it, it is not, it is not that much uh, hard to to give a trade setup okay so i can just definitely give you a trade setup once it comes to option picture then you understand how how we just try to trade with the supply and demand okay so i think uh, my 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 answer was not that much hard for you okay thank you see like uh, I, i'm because i used to watch my videos in generic okay so we are just uh, um, we are just trying to give some uh, understanding about the market okay so i'm not selling anything over here i'm just trying to provide whatever the knowledge i gained from the market okay so as a beginner you can just try to overcome these things in a very easier way okay so we are not here to give any sort of trade uh, trade plan for the next day the views for the next day i want you guys to give the views for others okay so that's the only thing what why we are just working over here okay so there is no sort of commercial values we do have okay so uh, I, i just want to say it for everyone so it is not because i, I just personally knew sanju that he is he is watching our videos continuous manner okay so uh, there matter why why we are just discussing the past histories see the past histories are the one thing which you need to understand in a depth way okay so uh, i just want you guys to uh, succeed in the market if i just provide trade setups okay what is the tomorrow's analysis you give me the analysis okay in what way do you give me an analysis okay so uh, see whatever whatever we we have just learned in this session okay so it's almost like 26 days okay so how we do our primary analysis first we will understand the particular script is in a uptrend or a downtrend okay so for that what we will bring in we will bring in the camerala trade setup okay so this is the camerala trade setup now uh, let me just check whether it is in today or tomorrow let me just change it to tomorrow now see this particular script this particular script has formed a descending order cpr so we expect reliance to be to be on the to be on the downtrend part okay so it can be a downtrend to sideways but see there was a there was a narrow cpr but to be the things to be noted are it is not an inside value cpr okay so we can expect a momentum day okay we can expect a momentum day for the reliance okay and what's a what's the trend looks like the trend looks like a downtrend okay these are the two things we do have in the initial stage okay now let we just understand from which are the levels will play the key roles okay how we find the key roles let we just take a 5 minute zone like a 5 5 minute uh, 5 minute time frame and we just try to plot the zones okay so we just use our novus hedge trade uh, trade master v1 so tomorrow we believe that uh, which will act as a good demand and which will act as a good supply so i believe this will be a good supply so which was the early days uh, open candle see here and why i define this as my supply because it has broken the previous demand it has broken the previous demand so it means that it has a valid pressure over there 
ओके इट हैज अ वैलिड प्रेशर ओवर देर सो आई बिलीव दैट देर कुड बी अ ओपन ऑर्डर्स ओवर देर हेन्स इट इज टेस्टेड जोन ऑल्सो डेफिनेटली यू कैन टेक अ ट्रेड वन सेकेंड सो दैट दैर बिकॉज सी इट जस्ट हैड अ किस ओवर देर इट जस्ट हैड अ किस ओके यू कैन जस्ट सी ओ हियर जस्ट हैड अ किस एंड फ्रॉम दैट स्टार्ट टू फॉल सो आई बिलीव दैट देर कैन बी देर कुड बी सम मोर जोन सम मोर ओपन ऑर्डर्स कुड बी देर ओके so uh, once again the price come back to the same level and from there it can starts to fall from there it from there it can starts to fall okay so uh, so these sort of analysis we just do before the before we just take the entry okay and what are the other methods we do use like whether uh, to find out the exact uh, trend okay so we do take the, uh, the in order to f understand about the higher time frame okay higher time frame what we do we just type uh, moving average okay so let me just take move two moving average the one will be the length of 12 okay so let me just mark it in green and then the other one we just take it as red and this will be the 26 moving average okay so now let me just take the 15 minutes time frame in 15 minutes time frame the the this is quite high okay so this is high and this is low which means that the close price is below the green so first condition is satisfied which means the 12 ema and the red ema is bottom is below right so uh, now this disqualifies the concern okay so what is the concern of uh, taking trades with the help of uh, the the scanner which we use there is a scanner okay so here is a scanner so this stock does not satisfy the either the uptrend or a downtrend okay it does not satisfy the uptrend or downtrend so we don't look for the uh, big opportunity on this particular trade setup okay so this is how we just say like we have discussed lot more things which are to be added to your trading system okay so that you can make 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 use of it okay so that is what i'm just trying to uh, Uh, educate you okay so it is uh, it is not uh, like the other people who just provide calls or they just provide trainings or something like that so you just try to understand and things and inculcate uh, the same in your trading system so that you can definitely it can improvise your system so that is what my expectation is also okay so uh, say like uh, instead of instead of uh, asking me questions so asking me the questions please try to post your analysis so that it can be helpful for the others okay so that that is the only thing what uh, i i'm just expecting from you guys okay so uh, i think i've just concluded most of the parts uh, most of the price action trading system okay which is to be discussed and almost uh, um, i have just covered whatever the thing which i which i which i want personally to uh, deliver to you guys okay so apart from that uh, let me just uh, if if anything left out you guys want me to speak you can just uh, uh, send a message to me so that i can just uh, i can just try to make it as a video or if possible i can just do something on live basis okay so on trending days market moves in one direction and how you are going to use fibonacci see whenever the market we expect the market to trend in a single direction we try to take trades only out of uh, camerella okay it can be at if it, if you if you define it as a um if we define it as an um, uptrend or a downtrend okay so we can see like on trending day we can define on which direction it is going to trend okay so in that case it is better to go up with the l3 reversal trade set sorry uh, h4 breakout trade setup or l4 breakout trade setup which we have already discussed which we have already discussed using the camerella so i think so it is on the fifth or sixth session i'm not sure about it no it is on sixth session exactly okay it is on sixth session so you can just go and watch out that so uh, literally i don't know to use fibonacci so uh, i'm not supposed to answer that question so uh, thanks for your super chat okay so what about the other things okay so uh, i think whatever i just prepared i'm I have communicated it to you guys so uh, thank you so much for uh, joining this live um apart from that i'm not nothing big 
okay so um, thank you thank you everyone for joining this session uh explain how i divide see like uh, it is not it, it is not a big uh, big concern okay so uh, i just take any one day i just mark five minutes time frame okay so if i want to plot this particular day i just want to plot this particular day then what i do i use this fibonacci tool okay so i just mark from top don't do it from bottom to top then uh, it will be quite vice versa i just do it from the top to the bottom okay so now it looks like this okay so those the values which i use is that tomorrow tomorrow it will be option options class only the value which i use is uh, for for the fibonacci okay so you can just find you can just uh, make a copy of this or you can just take a screenshot you can just try to take the screenshot of it the ppt is already available in the telegram channel okay you can just uh, uh, get it from get it um, get it get it from there okay the kotak bank example see from kotak bank we just we just moved to us oil so we have just completed half in kotak bank and uh, the fully in us oil okay so anyhow uh, sorry for that L let me just try to uh, show it once again to you okay so uh, you can just take a screenshot of these values so that it can be uh, it can be useful for you guys thank you thank you okay so uh, now let me just go back to the kotak bank okay so in kotak bank um okay so we just try to understand if you are just trying to take trade on a demand zone so where will be the target okay the target will be the target will be once we take an entry over here it just we just mark the target at the level of the very nearby supply zone the very nearby supply zone will act as a target for us okay and uh, so that is what i was supposed to communicate over here okay so or getting updated version yeah like the cinemas you'll be getting the updated version in a, in a one or two uh, it is it is included with the power zone okay the power zone is there almost like most of the things are there uh akilesh is developing that okay so the full credit goes to mr akilesh okay thank you akilesh for uh, um, you have been a recent member but your contribution to this community it is going to be something very big okay so thank you akilesh uh, for providing us this big um, like it, it's it's your uh, it's a kind heartedness okay so uh, thank you for that and definitely you will become a very big coder in the future okay i just showed your code to one of my uh, like a uh, uh, co trader so he is uh, he is the one who handles more than 100 crores of capital and uh, he was really shocked and he said uh, he is he is going to be something a very very big person down the line in 10 years okay so congratulations and i'm happy about it also so definitely we'll start options by tomorrow if it is breaking the sell zone like supply zone then um, no other go we have to accept the stop loss as the first case so whenever the particular supply zone is uh, um it's it just try to uh, whenever the supply zone uh, it's just break then we consider it as a demand okay so what happens most of the time we just call it as a flip trading method but it is not a suggested method for trading okay it is not a suggested method for trading for some sort of target booking you can use it from sort of target booking you can use it okay so uh, thanks a lot thank you thank you thank you guys okay anyhow uh, i'm really happy to uh, see you guys after a two days of break and now let i i just need to say you the very important thing right about our uh, about my hindi hindi movement okay so uh, actually i just recruited a girl who who knows hindi uh, so she'll be handling the hindi clients and uh, fortunately uh, so actually she'll be joining in another uh, uh, two or three days i'm pretty sure about it so she will be teaching me hindi on a daily basis okay so i just had her so uh, uh anyhow i'll be learning hindi in another one month of within one month i'll try to capture the hindi tone 
ओके सो सून यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट डी डी कैन स्पीक हिंदी ऑल्सो ओके सो हिंदी डी डी कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश तमिल एंड हिंदी ओके सो थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो okay <laughs> thank you thank you bye bye thank you uh, akilesh so it's it's my duty to uh, show my gratitude to you actually we do use this uh, novus health trade master okay so you once you go to indicator under the public library you can type uh, novus edge okay and you can find the trade master setup over here so you, you, you just don't find the v1 you can just select the novus h trade master okay so tomorrow definitely we will have the option session yeah cameron thank you thank you guys so uh, thank you everyone for joining the session and it's td signing off for the day Bye bye